Greetings family, this is Bomani Taimba and we're live on Revolutionary Camp, Africa for the Africans. I have my good brother here that's getting ready to travel to Ghana with us in May 2018. I just came to check my brother, the vegan dream donuts, brother Ross Isis, where we always come showing up with love for a black entrepreneur and uh, show that energy. And uh, you know, while I was trying to reverse parking, uh, I was, I was like, this is a very nice gentleman, he's helping me park and reverse and everything. And then I was like, he's still standing around. And then I got out and greeted him, and uh, he said, I'm Eon. And I was like, the only one person I know the name of Eon is someone that's traveled with us to Ghana. So that was a beautiful uh, energy and link. And I'm in Jonesboro, he's in Riverdale, both Clayton County, and you know, neighboring. So we're here in Atlanta, live on Revolutionary Camp. He, he has one of our authentic <laughs> book, you know? This is the book we talk about, family. You know, invest in Africa. So, how excited are you about going to Ghana? And uh, is it a surprise that you ran into me? I guess you saw the, the, the Bomani Technology yes, in the car. Yes, yes. Yeah, Bomani Technology family. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, I'm excited. I can't wait. And um, uh, my Isha was going, me and my Isha are going to Ghana on May 23rd. And uh, we're looking to repatriate and uh, invest on the, the land and help out. Well, that's perfect because uh, one of the things that uh, our good brother and his wife did is they expanded their journey and they're staying back a little extra time, which, which is what we always recommend. You come and enjoy the two-week journey, then if you can stay back a week, a few months, or even not go back, that's always good because you get to get the feel on the ground. So I'm looking forward to you not only just enjoying the journey as far as the tour itself, but to see how the repatriation work out. The good thing about what you're about to experience is when we get to Ghana, the second day we have a repatriation investment conference. And that link with that book that you have is gonna provide you all of the resources for living and doing business and the connections to get things started. So we look forward to connecting you and directly introducing you to some of our good friends. Now how excited are you about that? And look and smile at the folks in this side so they can see the energy. <laughs> Um, yes, yes. Um, so, well, like I said, um, I can't wait. And uh, yeah, yeah, open the bottom. Yeah, open I can't the wait. For, so we can really know you're excited. Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> can't wait. And um, and like my Isha is excited, and uh, we're looking to repatriate again. So uh, I'm going back in November or, or, or December to to, to scope out the land more and uh, and. Uh, that's about it. Perfect. Let's get you to side by side too. Definitely see our, our, our vegan energy. Now, yes. one of the things I like about what uh, you're doing as far as setting, setting up and doing your research, one of the things we talk about family is that we have to do more of our research. So before you were connected uh, with us, um, what was your research like as far as looking up information online for companies, for tours, for you know, different things going on in, in Ghana before you made the decision that you were going to move unless you just knew a long time ago that you were going to move? I knew a long time ago. Uh, Ghana is a colony, you know. Uh, by friends I know that live there, the community, uh, I know a lot of people there, and uh, for some reason, Ghana's colony, African people, I mean, Jamaican people, so that's my heritage. Yes, and uh, so, that's, that's one of the, I, I, I have a friend going there, uh, well, next week, and uh, if, if we live together, so uh, he's gonna scope out some land and, and uh, real estate and stuff where we can rent a house and stuff. Like that. So he's preparing the way for us for my my too. So, uh, but when we go together in May twenty third, uh, that's my stepping stone with all of this. You know, it's my first time, so really you are my mentor. As, as far as my step, first step going to Ghana. So uh, I'm learning from you. Well, you my, you my great, great experience. Well, I appreciate it. I'm sure you found some other information online also. I'm sure somebody else is doing repatriation and investment tours in Africa and doing things like that. Yeah. I'm sure our information is not the only one online. Yeah. Yeah. At least I think. I mean, I don't find much information online uh, about people you know, moving to Africa, dealing business and repatriation. Uh, most of the people that I know about are individuals, uh, but you know we're trying to break it away from the individual energy. And so I'm happy that you and your wife is coming because what we want to do, we want to connect you with a group of energy. That's you know because the repatriation movement has been the, has been the best ideas since we've been stolen from Africa. Return to your land and be a part of the future. Uh, but it's been the least 
energy given to you know as a matter of fact it's been we're, our, it's like our so-called think black leaders uh, over the last hundred years have been focused more on the integrational trap than the marcus garvey african nation building you know that's what we're talking about family africa for africans marcus garvey nation building um so uh it's it's, it's sometimes it becomes a little different because most of us have been coined into thinking that we can make things happen for ourselves in America and make it to where we become a part of this nation and we are holding hands with uh, our oppressors, children, and things like that. And I just tell people that you know, that's not realistic. If it was realistic, it would have been, been done already. It would have been accomplished and we would have been all one happy people singing Kumbaya, but it's not the reality. So, you know, we propose Africa for the Africans as a reality to our people that let's, let's, let's connect together and share an experience together as an African family and let's help the ones who want to make the move and let's share some education information with the ones that are probably you know, in the middle and thinking about whether they should continue their life in America or, or make a move in the African continent. Mm -hmm. So those, that's the world that you're in right now. You know, and, and I guess some part of that world you have already passed already because now you're ready to move and things. So anything else you want to share with our brothers and sisters uh, as far as uh, why, you have, why you're looking at repatriation as your best move versus staying and enjoying this beautiful country, America, and enjoying all the luxuries and things that some people say that it possess? Well, it's, it's in my heart, I'm born with this in me, okay? Africa is born in me, and I'm for the Africa, so... Uh, it's time to leave Babylon system, you know, and this beast, and uh, repatriate back home. This is not my land. This is the land of captivity, you know. So we're brought here by Yah uh, because we're just being disobedient to Yah, uh, God, who wants to know that's really Yah. Yeah. So we're brought here to 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 be chastised because of our disobedience. So now the the doors are open. To, uh, to repatriate back to Africa. So, we're no, we are in post-judgment, so we are free. What holding us back is our slavery mentality, okay? So, it's time to be free. We gotta, we gotta like Bob Marley would say, emancipate yourself, emancipate your mind from mental slavery. So that's, that's the problem. Our mind is, our, is, a, is holding us back. You know, so we have no excuse to be here. We, it, our, our land, it's Africa. That's our homeland. So we need to go back and live, live, build. Instead of building this beast, you know, we're spending our money on this beast to keep it up. Get out the seesaw and this beast will go down. Absolutely, let's more for energy. Appreciate that, brother. Appreciate the, the spark of energy. That was uh, perfect. Uh, so we're definitely going to hear more from our brother as time goes along, and definitely when we're on the journey of a lifetime, because we're going to be doing a whole lot of interviews, and uh, we're going to have people there live in Ghana on the tour, sharing their experience every day, and it's going to be incredible. So my brother, really appreciate your energy uh, coming through and sticking around uh, for a little bit longer. Then we probably have to head back south or so. But uh, we're going to keep it real, we're going to keep it strong, and then we're going to keep it going, family. Vegan Dream Donuts, my brother Ross Isis, representing, come here and show love in the West End, and keep supporting black-owned business, because if we don't support black-owned business, we definitely know anybody going to support it, our business else, and then we definitely going to collapse. So the way we keep it going, family, is we keep the energy of strong black economics going, yes, uh, yes. and learning to do for ourselves. So Black Power Family, and yes, and catch your family. <laughs> Yes, 